Welcome back here to CT Style. Now, besides exercise, of course, a healthy diet is an essential part to your heart health. And uh, there's always an easy way to, to make a tasty meal, but today we're making it both tasty and nutritional. And I'm back here in the Bender Kitchen with registered dietitians, Ellen Lizkoff, along with Elisa Nussbaum from Yale New Haven Hospital. Ladies, welcome back. Thank, Thank you. you for joining us here today. It's exciting because we're actually making two different recipes that you guys can make at home, maybe for the big game this weekend. But what's the big difference between healthy fats and non-healthy fats? Okay. So a healthy fat is a polyunsaturated fat or a monounsaturated fat. A saturated fat gets thumbs down. Okay. The way you can... We don't like those. No, they're not very healthy. Okay. And a saturated fat is typically solid at room temperature. So one example of a saturated fat would be butter. Okay. Okay. And anytime we substitute a liquid oil in cooking for a butter, that's an excellent example of lowering our saturated fat intake. So like olive oil, for instance. Olive oil, canola oil. Today I'll be using grapeseed oil, which okay. is high in polyunsaturated unsaturated fat and again both poly and monounsaturated fats have their unique benefits and when used in replacement of saturated fats it's very heart healthy so something to keep in mind there uh, very good tips let's let's get into cooking these two dishes I'm gonna have you slide over you're sure. gonna be starting on a salad over here so so why don't you tell us what's gonna be going into this uh, lovely salad so what we're gonna actually do is make a bed for Ellen salmon and we're gonna start with some spinach salad and I know the USDA guidelines tell you to fill half your plate with vegetables, we're we're gonna just go crazy and fill our whole plate with vegetables. Do is it. that okay with you? A lot you? of spinach there, right? A lot of spinach Which is here. Excellent. I would never tell you to cut back on your spinach intake. Next, we're gonna put in uh, some citrus slices. And the great, I'm using grapefruit, but if you're on a medication, you can't use grapefruit. You need to substitute any other citrus. So you can use oranges. You oranges, can use lemons, whatever you like. You go you right like. ahead. The great thing about citrus is it has vitamin C in it, mm -hmm. and that actually increases your absorption of the iron that's in spinach. Really. So you get more health benefit from the spinach when you pair it with those beautiful grapefruits. Did not know that. I'm going to do just a little bit of red onion, as thin as your knife skills allow you to slice them. Now, now what are some of the benefits of, of onion for, for your heart? Well, definitely or, well. taste. They have a lot of antioxidants in them. And again, you want to make as complete a meal as you can. Look at how colorful this yeah, is. Yeah. I'm sure you've heard, eat the rainbow. You, you That's what eat, we tell the kids. You have to eat, eat with the your rainbow. eyes first, of course. Mm -hmm. And look at how beautiful that is. Next. These are wheat berries. Have you ever had wheat berries before? I have not, but You want to give them a taste while I, I talk about them? I will, I will. So the wheat berry is actually a whole, the whole grain kernel from the wheat plant. Mm. So the hull's been removed. It's the same thing that you would grind up to make a whole wheat flour. There you go. So this is actually packed full of protein. A half a cup of wheat berries has the same amount of protein as a whole egg. Okay. So it's a great non-meat source of protein. As you're doing that, I want to move on to another Got protein it. over here. Mm -hmm. We're working with salmon, of course, which yes. is going to go on top of our salmon. Absolutely. So I have beautiful salmon filet, and I have it in about a four-ounce portion size, and the dietary guidelines endorse eating about eight ounces of seafood a week. Really? Salmon is very good because it's high in omega-3 fatty acids, which is cardioprotective. So it can reduce the risk of heart attack. It can even reduce the risk of stroke by incorporating that into our diet. How do you recommend preparing this type of salmon? So today I'm going to be doing a walnut crust and a sear, but it can be broiled, it can be baked, it can be put on a George Foreman grill, mm. it can go on an outdoor grill, it's, it can be poached. It's extremely versatile and um, very and simple. Res yes. And, and that's the great thing about salmon and, and fish. Mm. It's so easy to cook. Uh, so, so what's the first step? So we're going to sure. dip it in the uh, yeah. egg here? Yeah, I'm going to dip it in egg, and um, you might notice that I'm using real eggs instead of just egg whites. Okay. The newest dietary guidelines stated that the saturated fat intake in our diet is the most important thing to limit and that the amount of dietary cholesterol is of secondary importance uh -huh. or, or even of low importance. So I just used a whole egg and I have a combination of whole wheat flour and in addition to that, some ground walnuts. And walnuts are very high in polyunsaturated fats mm -hmm. and it's actually a plant source of omega-3 fatty acids. So oh. it's, um, it's, a, it's a wonderful type of food and um, it's a very, very easy thing to do. You get your hands a little bit dirty. And you um, drop it right in yeah. here. Yeah, and today I'm using grapeseed oil. Grapeseed oil, to me, gives a buttery flavor. So one of the worst things you can do is take a big slab of butter and, and melt it in your pan. Drop it in there. Yeah, exactly. So I'm using the I'm using the grapeseed oil, mm. and I'm going to put it on in there and hope for a little bit of oh, a browning I, on the crust. How long does this cook for? 
So depends upon how you like your salmon. Mm. I would re estimate for a filet that's about an inch thick, about three minutes per side. Mm. And if you like it cooked a little bit more, you can do a little bit more than that. Very healthy and easy recipe. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, the finished product is, is right over there. Maybe we'll be able to try a little bite at the very end of our show. Uh, again, head on over to ynhhs.org slash Heart, uh, smart Hearts, because uh, we would like you to head on over there for a little bit more information. Uh, very delicious and nutritious meal today here on CT Style. We uh, greatly appreciate it. Marisol, we're, we're going to have to share some of this uh, lovely salmon with you over there. I mean, it's 